Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. My beautiful Taurus, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly horoscope tarot reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Taurus, because that is how I keep up with you, is through the comments. As well, if you do enjoy this horoscope reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, Taurus, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and always I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. As well, remember to use your intuition, Taurus, because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, I promise you. I believe my cards here are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, and all that, right? So remember that as you receive this reading today. So all that being said, Taurus, let's just get into your reading, honey. Uh, I want to see right now where it is you guys are currently at, how it is my Taurus is currently feeling right now, right? Where is your headspace at? Where is your journey taking you right now, Taurus? Okay, you're in your energy. You have the Page of Earth the page of pentacles uh this card is talking about good news about i feel like i wasn't giving you guys any eye contact before was i uh taurus i'm sorry if i wasn't um <laughs> random things i noticed uh page of earth anyways page of pentacles uh pentacles is earth energy if you don't know taurus this is this card says anyways uh good news about financial matters uh wanting to do something more challenging in a new area of study so I kind of personally consider this card Taurus as a card that usually will step forward when uh, someone has the opportunity to start investing energy into a new path, right? And when I say path, I don't feel as if it's like a, only dedicating yourself to this one specific thing, right? Uh, it's more so like, you know, maybe the, whatever this new pentacle energy is, we'll say. So whether this is like, you know, maybe a new friendship, maybe a um, new stream of revenue, right? Maybe a new project, right? It's just whatever, a new thing that you can start investing energy into, right? Like when I got a cat, that's a new thing I got in it. I uh, started putting energy into when I started a new series on YouTube. I'm putting energy into that. Hope that makes sense, right? So I feel like this is where you guys are currently at uh, right now. But Funnily enough, I'm using this deck right now, Taurus, and somehow the star card, which also I'm wearing as the earring, uh, is in this deck somehow. And I'm actually really extremely organized and like kind of like OCD about my tarot cards. So um, I guess the star card will to step forward as well for this page of Earth. Um, this, so we will take the star card as like that affirmation of um, I see it as wish fulfillment, honey. Um, I see this as a situation of where uh, starting to put energy into something that at one point perhaps felt unobtainable for you, Taurus, or, um, you know, just one of those long-term goals, right? Let's just say, um, you wanted to have, like, your own dance studio, you wanted to have your, your own publishing company, right? This is very much so starting to take steps towards this, right? Whether this page of Earth is just the beginning processes of where you're releasing your own, uh, books right now, Taurus, right? It feels like this page of Earth, this new pentacle energy you're investing energy into, uh, is like a stepping stone to get to your star, right? And I feel like you feel this as well. Oh, wow. Ooh, honey, that was powerful. Ooh, ooh, happy Monday, darling. How are y'all, Taurus? Yes. So let's get a little bit more detail on this, shall we? Let's see uh, what other, let's see here, what other detail we can get with these cards other than oh honey that was powerful Taurus can we talk about it we're starting out your reading strong you guys are my first reading of the day as well so mm, my Taurus is my Taurus is mm -mm. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse for you. I love it. I love seeing this card inverted. Uh, if this card is going to step forward for someone's energies. We also have the Eight of Swords stepping up for you as well, Taurus. So in the upright. Okay. We have the Four of Cups. This makes sense why we have the Eight of Swords there now. Uh, stepping forward for you. 
And do we want one more card? Do you want one more card, Taurus? Yeah, some of y'all said yeah. We have the world in the reverse for you. Mm, I don't know. Whoever said yes, honey, y'all gonna be yelled at later in the comments, darling. Um, <laughs> let's get into this, Taurus. So, with this Five of Pentacles, I said I like this, seeing this in the reverse, because usually when this is in the upright, this is a card of... Um, I kind of associate a little bit of anxiety with this. This is usually an energy of not feeling like you belong somewhere, not feeling like you have a place in the world. Um, but because this is in the reverse, it makes sense because you have with that page of uh, pentacles energy with the star card energy, uh, this sense of uh, taking the stepping stone. Uh, so it does feel as if you're addressing um, this Eight of Swords energy, kind of, but I do feel like it's still important to address this Eight of Swords energy with this Four of Cups, um, because I do feel like this is where the uh, extra world card steps in here to give a little bit more of a brutal message, Taurus, if I'm going to be honest, and this is why you need to be yelling at the Tauruses in the comments below that said yes, really, um, because... I feel as if, while yes, Taurus, I celebrate you for taking a, on the stepping stone, like it just feels like you're going forward in life um, in a way that feels right to you. Um, I do feel as if there's some type of limitation that you're putting yourself in. Um, because with this Eight of Swords energy, while I do have to be blunt, Taurus, right? I'm not gonna, you can ask Siri to tell you good things about yourself if you want that, but I'm not Siri, darling. I'm Valka. So with this Eight of Swords, this is a situation of where you personally feel like you're trapped or like your hands are tied in a situation you can't change your situation at all but it's just like this is a card of illusions right you just have to remove the blindfold um uh, is usually like the i like to see this as the eight sorts of excuses that will tell ourselves right um and so when you have this with the Four of Cups, it's also, notice, again, there's a theme here with these two cards, Taurus, of where your eyes are, your vision's being blocked off, or your uh, your vision's skewed, right? You're not seeing things clearly, because even with the Four of Swords, or Four of Cups, rather, uh, this is where you're keeping your eyes closed, missing an opportunity that Spirit is presenting to you. Um, you're not seeing this cup here. You're choosing to stay blind to it, right? And so when you have it attached to this Eight of Swords, it's almost just like you telling me, Taurus, that, or telling your guides, darling, that you can't receive this gift. You can't receive this opportunity right now. Well, yes, you're doing a stepping stone. It's almost as if, like, you don't want to push yourself a little bit further, right? You're content with this small stepping stone. Now, I'm not trying to play it down, Taurus. I'm not trying to, uh, have you feel bad about, like, the progress that you're doing. It's perfectly fine, but this is why this world card in the reverse comes in here, right? I... I wouldn't be a good friend to you if I wasn't going to call you out and letting you know, Taurus, and being like, hey, I could live up to your potential a little bit more, right? This world card in the reverse here is showing to me of like a more so just asking yourself the question, Taurus, of are you falling back into like a potential bad habit of some sort? If you're not, then you know this part maybe may not be relevant to you. Maybe you already have overcome it, right, Taurus? But it's one of those things I just feel like there's some food for thought, darling, like I said at the beginning. So let's get a little bit more detail on this. We have the Temperance card in the reverse coming in for you. Okay. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse for you. Taurus. We have the Six of Swords coming up for you in the upper right. As well as the Seven of Cups in the inverted for you. All right, Taurus. So... While this may feel like a completely si different situation that we're addressing here, so I'm kind of getting this storyline to us, where it's like you're doing some forward progress in your life, right? You're doing the stepping stone, you're going up, but it does seem as if what's actually tying you down, what's like kind of almost you limiting yourself on some level, is the sense of... um I get feel like I just get the sense, Taurus, that there's this situation that you need to detach yourself from, but you're choosing not to. You're well, where there's just feels like there's some type of delay almost. I don't know if it's because like you're not. How am I trying to express this, Taurus? I feel as if like 
the reason why you're not pushing yourself to your highest potential is because like while the stepping stone that you're doing is fine it's dandy it's wonderful darling but for you to go this extra step you would have to, to let go of things that you would be getting out of your comfort zone and really having to yeah it does feel like you have to let go of something that in some way you associate with comfort i feel with this temperance card in the reverse with the six of cups in the reverse this is one of those things of like um <clears throat> Where it's like you acknowledge you have to kind of let go of a situation in the past, but at the same time, it's almost like this love, like hate, and yeah, it's very much so like this love hate relationship that you have with something because you go back and forth with it. And even with the Six of Swords, you still acknowledge that you need to put distance with you and the situation. And I do feel like there's a distance building, but I don't know here. Like, again, even with the Seven of Cups in the reverse, like, there's not a question, like, there's not a question, Taurus. Like, you're not going to really argue with me. You're going to be listening to this reading and be like, yeah, Valka, I do know I need to, like, move on from this situation here. But there's something that's keeping you, like, I don't know. I feel like in this situation, like, depending on the time of day that you receive this reading, you're going to feel a certain type of way about the situation. It just feels very love-hate uh, situation, Taurus, where it's like, and it's because, like, the we'll call it hate or like the detachment rather because maybe hate's a little bit brutal right this detachment that you have with the situation that's when you're just like okay yeah, i can let this go but then there's this sense of comfort then the love comes in right and i feel like this love is only coming in because of you of the comfort that you associate it with whatever this means to you in specific tours this is very much so um channeled message i suppose is what someone some people would say but it's just interesting. Let's see this a little bit deeper. Nine of Swords in the reverse. The Page of Cups in the reverse. Okay, Taurus. And the Judgment card. So you don't want to take action, Zerling. You don't want to take action on this situation because then... Um, uh, it kind of forces you into this situation, Taurus, of where you would have to be a little bit more vulnerable. You would have to open yourself up to a new energy, right? You know, you if you have to switch jobs, right? You maybe you worked at this one job for uh, an extended amount of time, right? And But for you to let go of it, for you to take action on it, that means you would have to uh, go into a new area of like a new job. <laughs> What am I trying to say? You would have to go into a new uh, environment with uh, people that you're not used to being around, Taurus. It does feel... Mm. There is just this resistance where you don't want to make yourself a little bit uncomfortable, Taurus. Right? Page of Pentacles. And then the Five of Cups. But when you do let go of the situation, then we wrap back into... Uh, you going into forward progress, you continuing on with these stepping stones, Taurus. So it's almost just like the situation of... I feel like you are warming up to the situation. This is like a progressive thing for you, Taurus, right? You know, you acknowledge it. I guess that is like the majority of the battle, Taurus, of like by acknowledging the situation, you know you need to work on it. And I guess this is more so a week, Taurus, for you to hold yourself accountable to working on it. Uh, because Ace of Wands coming in here to top off this spread beautiful darling because this is where you're just really going continuing with this very fiery like you're really blazing a trail uh tours and i feel like part of the reason why perhaps there's like this resistance for you uh to we'll say um breaking out of this and really choosing to be like a uh it feels like you would have to claim a little bit more responsibility for your life. Now, I'm not saying that you're not responsible for your life already, Taurus. Please don't take it that way. But it's just like there's just more of the... Uh, there's Because there's no sense of like being able to go back, because I do feel like you have to disconnect yourself fully from a situation rather than fooling yourself and playing... Uh, um, you know, removing the illusions that you're telling yourself that you're not actually happy in a situation. You know, removing the Stockholm Syndrome, Taurus. Um... I don't know. It does just feel like this sense of perhaps you're intimidated by the idea of putting more responsibility on yourself. And is it just because that you're not sure, Taurus, that you'd be up for the task? Do you, is there a, like that sense of insecurity in that? Right? These are just questions to ask yourself. You're doing beautifully, Taurus. I don't want you to feel 
bad about this uh, portion of the reading at all. Like you're doing beautifully. It's a very powerful reading all in all. But I do feel like it's important to acknowledge, you know, uh, what more you can do, Taurus, right? You're you're doing all the right things right now. So take affirmation in that. I'm just here to challenge you. Your guides are here to challenge you, really. Because like, keep this in mind, Taurus. I don't know your life whatsoever. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards, right? I ain't going to sit here and pretend like I have my life in order, darling. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Taurus, let's now get into your love and social situations this week see what's in the works with that right and when i say uh relationships I, they don't have to be a romantic tourist right we can be talking about platonic family work you know we have so many relationships in our life it's more th th there's more to than just romance right <clears throat> We have the Awakening card, Archangel Gabriel, as well as the Magician card. Okay, some of y'all are, a lot of you guys are manifesting um, people in your life. You're waking up to the idea of what you want to uh, have allowed in your life as well, right? With these two Archangels, you know I have to bring this up to us. If you're open to connecting with Archangels and your belief system allows it, uh, both Gabriel and Razael is reach are reaching out for you to work with them if you're open to it. Uh, for numerology, we have the number four for you. So write down the number four to uh, look up at a later point. The Magician card talks about saying that you are ready. Uh, you have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. You know, you're getting this affirmation just as what we were talking about before, Taurus, and saying that you were completely able to be up for the task for this extra responsibility. Uh, we have the Awakening card, Archangel Gabriel, looking at things from a different perspective. Uh, temporary standstill, it's important to be yourself. So Taurus, just this constant reaffirmation of just, you know, staying true to you, right? a little bit of affirmation on this i do feel as if though that you guys are just opening up to the idea of having a higher standard of what you will allow in your life and what you want in your life death card darling yes yes this is what i was tapping into for your general portion uh taurus and then i know what this is going on here you have to finally let go of your comfort zone of like what was in your past knowing that's not in, knowing that what's keeping you comfortable isn't allowing you to fully grow isn't allowing you to fully get into your stepping stones five of swords yes you know you have to get out of your head about this you because this is something that's been in your head for months now i feel taurus it's been something that you've been thinking about for a while where you're just like i know i need to do this i need to do this i need to do this right we have the ace of cups in the reverse here yeah I feel like until you let go of this situation, there is such an important portion of your social life, Taurus, of the relationships that you keep, whether it's romantic in the sense, right, and letting go of a, a dead relationship, or whether this is like a family situation, letting go of like the clinging on trying to have like a working situation with your family that just doesn't want to be close to you, right? Whether it's a friend, right? A friend that doesn't want to be friendly, you know, fill in the blanks. Taurus. I just feel like this is the situation that you're feeding a lot of energy into um, and or is a distraction that's keeping you, keeping your heart chakra blocked off from opening up to new connections that actually uh, would not only be on your level of growth but challenge you to grow further so yeah nine of water eight of earth finally closing that portion off taurus yeah this is like the next step for you taurus you know have faith in yourself that you would be able to manifest someone even more beautiful right someone that would actually bring even more stability in your life right i feel like you just need to have that affirmation and you, you would feel okay with uh moving on but uh Enough of that, Taurus. Let's now just get into your financial and career this week. What is going on for this week for my Tauruses in their financial and career? We have the Two of Pentacles coming in here. Uh, too much going on at once. The need to make a decision and considering a playful approach. All right, Taurus. So you're weighing some things out. Some of you guys are kind of overwhelming yourself with work or... Mm, but dare I say, some of you Tauruses are weighing out decisions on putting more on your plate or not, right? Like, what more do you want to uh, do? Hmm. Let's see. What is it that you should do? 
We have the Three of Swords in the reverse with the Magician card coming in with the Queen of Swords. I'm going to be honest here, Taurus. This is a calling for an, a calling of action and putting more responsibility on your plate. You know, somehow with this Two of Earth as well, there's this there's this association with Three of Swords in the reverse and the Queen of Swords. So very much so, putting up boundaries and healing from situations and fully putting closures to things uh, in your life that allows you to fully manifest, right? Fully tapping into a new journey of sorts. But it does feel like there's something that you need to like close off. There's a band-aid that needs to be finally be um, ripped off and allowed to have like the scab to just breathe to fully heal, right? It feels like this is at this final healing phase. And then that way you can stack a little bit more on your plate. That's in the name of uh, manifesting a beautiful future for yourself, manifesting more financial uh, abundance for you, or going up in your career almost, right? Well, not almost, you will. Uh, so, yeah, Taurus, that is the weekly horoscope reading for you. I hope you found some tarot cards that resonated with you in this weekly reading. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below which cards resonated. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. If you want to have a, if you would like to book a reading with me, Taurus, I always have my website linked down below. It's just simplyvelka.com. All my social medias are simplyvelka.com. I hope I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Taurus, I love you so much.